Have you ever wanted to make homemade cauliflower pizza crust, but you thought the recipes were really intimidating? Then stay tuned, because today I am showing you how to make the easiest cauliflower pizza crust ever. You don't want to miss it. Hey everybody, Erin here with Healthy Mom Happy Family, and I am so excited to have you join me here today, because today I want to talk to you about cauliflower pizza. You know, a lot of us know that cauliflower pizza crust is a great way to reduce the overall carbohydrates and calorie content of pizza. And if you're a pizza lover like me, it's a great idea because then you can eat pizza more often. But if you've ever looked at most of the cauliflower pizza crust recipes, they can feel really, really intimidating. I know I see words like cheesecloth needed and I just say, no way, I don't know how to use that, I'm not making it. But I discovered a way to make a cauliflower pizza crust that is so incredibly easy. It just takes minutes and you don't need any special equipment. You don't need a cheesecloth. You don't need anything like that. You can do it with what you already have at home and it is delicious. It's low in carbs, it's rich in fiber, and it's a great way to help you meet more of your vegetable goals during the day as well. So are you ready to get started? I know I am. Okay, so you only need a few key ingredients to make this incredibly easy cauliflower pizza crust. First, the rice cauliflower, okay? And I know when we think about rice cauliflower, it can feel a little intimidating to make, but rice cauliflower, you can pick up already done for you from the grocery store. You can find it in the frozen food section or even sometimes in fresh produce section. So if it's done, it's fresh, you don't really need to do much with it. If it's frozen, you just wanna microwave it until it's fully steamed and pretty dry. Now, you can squeeze it with a cheesecloth or a paper towel if you wanna get extra moisture out. But I'll tell you, I've never needed to do that with this recipe and it still holds together just fine. So just make sure you have your rice cauliflower steamed, ready to go, and that's all you need to do. Then we need shredded cheese. I use uh, shredded mozzarella cheese for this, but again, you can play around with it if you wanna try different cheeses. And then we need eggs and then seasoning. So I like to put in a little bit of minced garlic, and then you can also put in basil, oregano, salt, pepper, and really the options are limitless. So whatever you like, whatever seasonings and spices you prefer in your pizza, add them in. So all we're gonna do is mix together. We're gonna put the shredded cheese in. I put about half into starch because then I wanna mix the egg in. And then I'll put the garlic in, about half the garlic, because I start to mix it in the bowl. Now, could you do this in a food processor or a blender? Sure. Do you need to? Absolutely not. It really works just fine in a bowl. I'm gonna hold it up here so you can see. All right, so I'm gonna mix that in. Now as I'm making that, I'm gonna add the rest of the cheese, the rest of the garlic, and make sure it's blended. Okay. Now what's really holding this crust together is once the cheese melts, as well as the egg, it really gives the crust structure. So we evenly mix this up, and once it is mixed up, you're gonna put it onto a baking sheet and just press it down into whatever shape you want. So you can make a square pizza, you can make a circular pizza, rectangle, uh, whatever you want. But you're gonna put it onto the baking sheet, press it down so it's nice and even. The key here is when we put it on the baking sheet, we wanna make sure that it's all one up dimension. We don't want to have it where certain parts are very, very high and certain parts are low because it's not going to cook evenly. So you just want to make sure that the height of it, once you press it down, is pretty even across the baking pan. And then what you're going to do with this crust, I'm just going to show you here, it's really nice and evenly mixed. There we go. Once you put it on the baking pan, you're going to put it into the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Because what you want is you want the crust to be almost done all the way to where it looks pretty crispy, the edges are getting a little bit brown. Then we're gonna take it out, put the rest of the cheese on top. We're gonna put, you know, whatever you want. So if I usually put a little bit of tomato sauce, then I put the cheese on top and I stick it back in the oven just until the cheese melts. So basically what we're doing is we're putting this on the baking pan, we're popping it in the oven until it cooks. We got, you're gonna look for just the edges to get a little bit brown so you know it's pretty crispy. Then you're gonna put your toppings on. So sauce, cheese, whatever toppings you want. Pop it back in the oven until the cheese melts and it's done. That's how simple this is. Okay, now, when we make this recipe, and I will link to it below so you can see the full recipe on my blog and you can print it and use it however you'd like. But just so you know, if we were to compare this to a traditional pizza, a traditional slice of pizza versus this recipe, we are saving 152 calories per slice. And this recipe per slice only contains two grams of carbohydrate. That's it. So if you are trying to enjoy pizza but manage blood sugar and reduce your carbohydrate, this recipe really allows you to do so. 
And you can really make this however you want. I tend to make just a large pizza and I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. But if you want, you could actually make this into little mini pizzas. You can make it into cheese sticks. I mean, really, whatever you want to do with this cauliflower pizza crust is up to you. So all we're going to do, I'm going to grab the pan. I show you here. You take a greased pan and you're going to put your dough back on there. Now, it looks a little like it's falling apart, but don't worry about that, because what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you in a second with a spatula, so I'm gonna press it down. I'm just gonna get it all out of the bowl here. Okay, so it looks like this big mound of smushy cauliflower, but that's what you want, okay? This is what you want. Then we're gonna grab a spatula. All right, so now I have the spatula, and I'm just going to evenly push it down on my pan. Now I mentioned before, you want it all to be the same height. So if I was just to do this now, the middle is much higher than the ends, and so some parts will get crispy, some will be a little mushy. So we wanna make it all as even as possible because that is what's gonna help you to get the crispy cauliflower crust you want. Um, honestly, it makes a lot. You can see this fills up the whole pan. If I really wanted to make this extra crispy, extra thin, I could make two pieces at this. All right, so you just kind of push it around, my pan here has a little bit of an edge to it, so it makes it a little easier to keep it in that pizza shape. Like I said, you can make this into a rectangle with a different, you know, cookie sheet or whatnot, whatever you would like. All right, so here you can see how nice this looks. I'm gonna hold it up for you. Look at that, that's your cauliflower pizza crust. It looks like a traditional pizza, right? Once you bake it, like I mentioned, the egg and the cheese together, they melt and they give it structure, so this will hold together nicely. And I'm gonna pop it in the oven now. I'm gonna wait about 20 minutes. Once it gets crispy, I'll add on my toppings and then I'm gonna show you what the final product looks like. Okay, so our pizza crust is done. I added the toppings, I waited for the cheese to melt, and I am so excited to show it to you. Look at that cauliflower pizza. Can you believe, per slice, only 68 calories, two grams of carb? And look at that, it's crispy, it's delicious, it's cheesy, it looks and tastes just like the real thing. And you can enjoy this daily if you wanted to, without feeling like you're getting a large amount of carbohydrate that can spike your blood sugar. And you can see how incredibly easy this is. You mix the right cauliflower, the egg, the cheese, and your seasonings, you're good to go. And you can make this anytime, anywhere. Ah, I'm gonna block it. <laughs> Show it to you again. All right, so as I mentioned, link to the recipe is below. Click it, print it, use it how you would like. And I wanna hear from you. Did you try this cauliflower pizza crust and what did you think? Or what's your favorite way to make pizza a little bit lower carbohydrate? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like today's recipe, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss new tips, tricks, or recipes. Thanks so much for joining me.